Before determining that you need to replace your thermocouple, check that it's properly connected to the MIDI board. Turn off your replicator too and unplug the power cable. Turn the printer onto its left side and use the 2.5mm hex wrench to remove the bolts securing the electronics bay cover. Set the cover and bolts aside. The thermocouple wire is the one that splits into red and yellow leads. Follow the leads to their terminals. If these leads are secured by buttons, push the buttons on the terminals to release the leads. If the leads are secured by screws, use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen the screws until you can remove the leads. Remove the leads and then reattach them. Once you've verified that the thermocouple connections at the MIDI boards are secure, reattach the electronics bay cover and turn your printer upright. Plug the power cable in and turn on your printer. If you get a heating error immediately upon powering on or after selecting preheat, you'll need to check the thermocouple's connection at the extruder. Turn off the printer again and unplug the power cable. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver, Loosen the two screws on the active cooling fan so that you can remove the cooling duct. Use the 2.5 hex wrench to remove the two bolts from underneath the extruder to remove it from its carriage. Once you've lifted the extruder from the carriage, you'll be able to see the back of the thermal core and a gold or copper colored wire. Make sure that the wire is securely screwed into the thermal core. Reconnect the extruder and cooling duct and start your printer back up. If you're still getting heater error messages, then the thermocouple might be bent at an angle, twisted, or compressed at some point between the mighty board and the extruder. If you're still getting heating error message, it's time to replace the thermocouple. Repeat the earlier steps of powering off the printer, unplugging the power cable, removing the cooling duct, and removing the extruder from the carriage. Clip all zip ties from around the extruder cable and pull the cable free from the other clips. Set the extruder aside. Now turn the printer onto its left side and remove the electronics bay cover. Remove the black wrapping from around the extruder cable. Find the red and yellow thermocouple wire and disconnect the two leads from the terminal. On the extruder, use pliers to loosen the nut that attaches the thermocouple to the thermal core. You can then finish unscrewing the nut by twisting the thermocouple wire. The old thermocouple is now completely separated from the printer and you can discard it. Take your new thermocouple and screw the nut at the end of it into the thermal core. Be careful not to allow the thermal core to rotate. At the other end of the thermocouple, if necessary, twist the exposed wire on each lead to make it easier to connect them. If you unthreaded the old thermocouple through a block on the mighty board, thread your new thermocouple through this block and then plug the leads into the terminal. Add the thermocouple wire to the rest of the wires in the extruder cable and place the black wrapping back around the cables. Guide the cable through the brackets on the back of the printer and reattach the electronics bay cover. Turn your printer back upright and bolt the extruder back onto the carriage. Attach a zip tie around the extruder cable where it meets the extruder and one where it sits in the bracket on the back of the printer. Reattach the cooling duct. Plug the power cable in and turn on your printer. Test out the new thermocouple by selecting preheat. 
Visit MakerBot.com support to see an overview of your support options. Thanks for watching.